Hi guys, it's me. I will show you something I made and I used this um, thing I bought, this glasses um, microfiber cloth to, to clean glasses. So, And I thought, oh, that looks quite good. You can do something, um little notepad I made here. And this is specially for the event, uh, for the CIC Facebook group event, Trash to Treasure. And um, it's a very, very short project here. You saw that I already cut the paper down to that size and I simply used this, this um, stapler and put uh, two of them in and that won't, won't do a lot of uh, any other stuff, you will see. So it's a very quick and easy project. I cover everything with gesso before I start because it was a bit um, slick, the, the, the surface. So better to have some gesso on top that it gets some tooth. So and I'm using different um, dilution paints here. I really like their, their, their yeah, boldness that they are so, so nice. I really like this colors or the, the paint so and the colors. So that's why I'm using them here. They're so, so colorful. So, and I put them on only with my fingers. I stay here with the yellows and greens and oranges first. And after I um, have them all down, I dry everything properly that I'm not um, getting some mud when I use blues for some. This is uh, the jade, polished jade, and I will go into with blues afterwards. It's always a bit tricky with um, oranges. So that's why I dried everything before. And that's a calypso teal, I think. Uh, of course, the edges, they have to be painted. So I dry everything again. And at the very end here, I use this bubble bubblegum pink. It is, and um, something else. No, that's it. So and for the other uh, areas, I use here the bubblegum pink. Most of that will be covered by the paper anyway. So I'm using here a sim the simple pink. Go over it, and on the reverse, I use the same pink. I have to go over it quite a few times. Uh, there is still the writing, you can see it, but I quite like that. It adds a bit of texture to it, so it's okay. So I put some layers on top of that, and then at the very end, I use a bit of this uh, crushed grapes to give it a bit more depth at the edges, not covering everything only here and there a tiny bit. And that's it. I will stamp on it later as well. So this is the only stamp I use. That's one. I don't know what it's called. It's from Kaisercraft. It's a grit thing. So I go over some areas here and there and only use the stamp partially. With That stays on actually. I used it because I have this very, um, very, very slick surface here with, with uh, the dilutions. I didn't want to slip. That's on the reverse, going on and stamping a bit. So that's one of my uh, word dies I'm using. I rather would have had something reminder or something like that, but I only have this word to remember, so it's okay. I wanted to use that as a little shopping list reminder, you know, where you write something down during the day when you, oh, I'm missing this or that. So this is a double side tape, one of the strong ones I put on top here, and that's how I will um, stick the paper through. And that's everything. I'm not doing anything else. Simply glue it down. You know, stick it on, and that's it. And when I want to remove the first page, I tear it off simply, and when it's empty I can glue something new on. Very simple. But I thought there was something missing, and what I quite liked here, the idea of the ends, that's a stamp cube, there are four other, or four insects in total on, and I quite liked the idea with the ends, because they are always busy collecting stuff, you know, 
like shopping. <laughs> no, but that's the connection I make. So sometimes I have these funny ideas. And my, my, my thoughts sometimes are a bit weird. I know, but that's what came to my mind. The busy or the busy ants collecting stuff for their nest. And I um, tear that off here, the paper, that it's not that obvious on. You can see it's tissue paper, but and I used tissue paper actually because the surface here was a bit um, uneven, so it's always better to um, stamp on on that tissue paper. A um, bit of shading here, first with my um, aqua mic marker, that's a grey, and then I use a white Posca to go over the, um, the the word, and that's it. And then you will see a close up already coming, and that's my little project, my notepad. I really like it, and I think this um, package was absolutely perfect for it. Here you can see there is a bit of tissue paper still seen, up. you can see it, I don't mind. So that's it. Of course I could have decorated it even more, but I really like to have um, this really shiny colors as the focal point. And that's what I wanted. You can see here it really sticks perfectly to it. And that's it. So thanks a lot for watching guys. I hope you had a lot of fun. Please, if, if so, please give me a thumbs up and think about all the others. When you put in the hashtag trash to treasure, you will find an awful lot of videos you can watch. And I think there are some really good people showing you how to recycle, upcycle, whatever. So, thanks again and I wish you a fantastic time. Bye-bye.